Today we're going to be checking out the Razer Basilisk V3 mouse. This mouse is a bit on the older side. It came out in 2021, but it's still a solid mouse. It's mainly going to be designed for gamers that are more into MMOs and MOBAs because of how many buttons are on the mouse. So in the box, what you're going to get is, of course, the mouse, an instruction manual with a little sticker pack. So first impressions with this mouse, I really love how much buttons are on this thing. On the top of the mouse, you're going to have the scroll wheel that does left and right tilt then you're going to have two buttons here for dpi shifting and then on the side of the mouse you're going to have three buttons a backwards a forward and additional thumb pressing button so if you're into mmos or mobas you're really going to have a lot of useful shortcuts that you can assign to these buttons which are going to be very easy to access the button near my thumb is super easy to access and it feels a very natural and the mouse tilt is very easy as well that feels very natural just to flick with the side of my finger and these two buttons as well. Now this is gonna be a wired only mouse that's gonna be made primarily of a plastic material. You can see the clickers are made of a texturized plastic and then there's gonna be some gloss here as well. And there will be a bit of rubber on the mouse and that's mainly the scroll wheel here which gives you a nice grippy flick as well as the grips where your thumb rests and your ring finger on the two outer sides of the mouse. So it's gonna be very comfortable and ergonomic for the most part. And I found that it was easy to grip in all three of the grip styles, which is palm, when you kind of put your hand on the mouse like this. Claw grip is also gonna be easy where you just kind of put your knuckles at the top of the mouse and kind of claw it like that. This feels good. And then fingertip grip where your hand kind of floats above the mouse that's also very comfortable. And the mouse is gonna feel very durable as well. If I do a little shake test here for you guys, you can see there's no rattling parts as I shake this and it's firmly built. When I do the scroll wheel, like try to wobble it a little, there really is no wobble, even though it does have a left and right tilt, it feels very solid. It doesn't feel like it's some clanky cheap mouse. And then if we look under the mouse, we can see there are gonna be a few skates here that are made of 100% PTFE material. And then there's also gonna be a little switch here that allows you to switch between the different profiles and the mouse is going to have five onboard profiles so if you install the razor software and start customizing a bunch of settings you can have five different slots saved for different say games or productivity workflows that you have and then as far as the sensor goes this is going to be using a 26k dpi sensor so you're really not going to struggle with this mouse lagging on you as you're using it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and plug this mouse in using the USB-A connector. We got it plugged in and you can see that this thing has some beautiful RGB lights. You have the scroll wheel that has some rings that glow around it. And then on the side of the mouse, you have a nice light that kind of goes around the entire mouse which also adds this cool neon look. Big fan of that overall. Now something really cool I love about the scroll wheel on this mouse is that it can either do free spin or it can have a tactile scrolling mode. So if you look closely here, I'm gonna spin it and you can see it's in a free spin mode where it just keeps on spinning. And if I wanna stop the free scrolling, I just press this button and now it's in this tactile scrolling mode, which has a more clicky sound to it. And speaking of sounds, this mouse is using Razer's optical switches, which is the Gen 2 versions. And here's a quick click test for y'all to hear what the clickers sound like, as well as all of the other buttons on the mouse. So overall, sounds pretty good to me. Not too loud, not too quiet, somewhere in the middle. So it shouldn't be distracting to most people in your environment. So in the Razer Synapse software, this is what the settings are gonna look like when you install the mouse. Here you can customize all of the buttons. This is gonna be the scroll mode. You can toggle between the regular scroll mode or you can enable it to have a different shortcut such as like keyboard shortcuts, mount shortcut sensitivity. And there's a whole bunch of different settings that you can customize each and every single button to do. Now, if we scroll down, we do have scroll acceleration, which makes it scroll faster as you scroll, or you can have a thing called tactile or free spin scroll as we demonstrated earlier. And then we have this smart reel mode. So basically what this does is if you just scroll normally, like I'm showing you on camera here, it's gonna be tactile. But if I do a hard flick, 
you can see it is kind of like a hybrid scrolling where it can do tactile and free spin at the same time. You just have to give it a good flick to activate it. And then if we scroll on up, there's gonna be another tab where we can change our DPI settings. And here you can have five different stages and to toggle between these DPI settings, you just press this button here and you can see that I'm cycling between the different modes. And you can adjust these to be whatever speed you want by clicking here or dragging the dial bar here. And you can also enable horizontal and vertical DPI settings based on how you prefer your sensitivity settings. Then you have some polling rates. I recommend keeping that at a thousand. You also have some lighting settings here. You can bump up the brightness all the way so it's more vivid. And then you can also have the lights turn off when your monitor is off or after a certain amount of time like let's say five minutes or so and then we also have some different lighting modes so if you just want it to grow glow one color all the time you just do static and it's going to be glowing this green color all the time as you can see here but if you wanted to do other things like this fire mode you can see it has like this pulsing mode where it kind of looks like a little fire is kind of running right now. And I think that looks really cool, especially under the mouse. And then we're gonna have calibration where you can tweak how high you have to lift the mouse in order for the laser to not detect your mouse pad. And this is something you would have to play with to see what you prefer. And then you can also do a manual calibration or add a razor mouse pad that already exists. And then up here we have profiles and here you can assign a specific game to a specific profile. So if you play some portal, you can go ahead and link that up to this profile. And you can go ahead and create as much or as little profiles as you want by clicking uh, on these three dots and adding a new one. So overall, this is gonna be a solid mouse. The only thing I'm not too big of a fan with this mouse is that it is gonna be wired. And they made a wireless version, which is the Basilk V3X. And if you wanna see a video that I did on that mouse, be sure to click up there. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.